Hi, this is Heather with Keep It Simple Social Media and in this video I want to show you the new look of Facebook and how you can create a slideshow video which is Facebook creating a video for you using pictures that you have. So the first thing you want to do is be on your Facebook business page such as I am right here and go over to the left hand side and what you're looking for is publishing tools. Now I will tell you that on some of my clients accounts Accounts, it does say Creator Studio. So either you're looking for Creator Studio or the publishing tools. And when you click on the publishing tools, it will take you to another menu where what you're looking for once again is the Creator Studio. And under tools, you will find Creator Studio. Now we go ahead and click on Creator Studio. And now we are on the dashboard for either clicking on the Instagram logo to create an Instagram post or of course we click on the Facebook logo, it's blue, and we can create a Facebook post. Once you are on the Facebook, you go to the left hand side and click on create a post. And now we're going to look over to the right hand side and we're looking for multimedia and multimedia gives us several different ways to create unique posts on your business page. This way you don't always have to be creating the same type of posts over and over. As you can see, you can create a photo album, a carousel, and here is the create the slideshow. Let's go ahead and click on it. You might notice that it said we can upload three to 10 photos. So what Facebook wants to do is they want to create a little movie or a slideshow video using the photos that you're going to upload. So the first thing you do is either click on the blue bar where it says add photos, or you can click on the plus sign down here in the bottom left. We click on the plus sign. And then we have to either choose the photos that we've used on our business page in the past, take a photo, or upload a photo. And I have already got my photos ready. I've numbered them one to seven, but I could have up to 10 photos. And I click open. And now Facebook automatically starts to load them. What you want to do is you want to have a look at the photos and make sure that they're in the order that you wanted them to be in. And then I like to click on fade so the photos kind of fade from photo to photo and it's not a stark change from photo to photo. I also like to have my photos on the screen a little bit longer so people have an opportunity to read because I have writing on these photos. If you simply just have photos that are of scenery or pictures of house uh, inside a house. You don't have to have four seconds. Four seconds is a very long time, but definitely two seconds, maybe three seconds. If you had 10 photos at three seconds, that would make a 30 second video. And that's a, a beautiful size for Facebook. Now, I'm not going to go with the original format. I want to have a square format. So once it's loaded on Facebook, I could then just actually download it in high definition and I could use it on my Instagram account as well when it's in fair, uh, square. Now, you can also add music if you wanted to add some music. Okay, and we can go back to our settings. So now we have our music on, we have our square, so I can use it on Instagram. Our video has a lot of writing on it, so I'm leaving it for four seconds, and I'm fading from photo to photo. The next step is to go to the bottom and click on Create Slideshow. Now what happens is you can see the cursor in the right hand side is flashing and it says say something about this slideshow. So you want to go ahead and write something in here. I also added a hashtag um, and you could add a couple if you wanted to. And so read what you've written here, have a look at how it looks. You can go ahead and go down to the bottom and you can click on check in and you can add 
uh, city if you would like to do that. I always do, and I make sure that it's a good, robust post. Now, there's one other thing that I would like to point out to you. Over here on the right-hand side, it says that you can write this post in another language. In order to do this, you have to have your settings turned on on your general page. You click on settings in the lower left hand side of your business page you then are going to find yourself in the general setting tab you're going to look down at the bottom which is in the middle and you'll notice it says post in multiple languages and i love to post in several different languages so this is an option that i will use all i have to do is click on it and then i have to click on language and select the language i always choose french for catherine and whoops let's just take this out of here and let's put our cursor in there french and you see it comes up now look at there it is my post is now ready to go out but let's take this one step further let's go into the share now located at the bottom and there's a little tiny half diamond if you click that you will see that you can schedule this post and i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to schedule this post to go out say next week on the 29th and i like my post to go out in the morning so i'm going to say six am and then i just have to click on schedule and then in the bottom right hand corner you click on schedule post again now facebook takes probably about five minutes to process this video and once the video has been processed then what i can do is i can go and i can refresh my business page up here in the top left hand corner Okay, once I have refreshed my page, I can go into my scheduled posts over here in the middle down at the bottom and I just click scheduled posts. And now what you want to look for in your scheduled posts is the post that you just made when here it is here. I'm going to click here and now I'm going to click on the writing and it's going to open the post up and the reason I want to show you this is because Facebook would like you to give a title to this video and I'm going to say a 2020 YouTube year in review okay and so I might um, then go down and add tag so video YouTube, I like to add real estate because I work a lot with real estate agents. I am a real estate agent myself. And so I add a whole bunch of tags that pertain to what my uh, post is about. Another thing that I really think is important is I click on the thumbnail. I go down here and I choose a frame because Facebook will automatically pick a frame for you and especially if this is a video with you talking it tends to pick your mouth open if it's a video of you showcasing a real estate uh, listing that you have it will pick the bathroom for the picture to focus on so I think this is a really important step to go ahead and then you save the thumbnail and then you just go ahead and click next and then you can see that it's scheduled to come out the next week and you click schedule once more so these are the steps that you make in order to um, schedule or create a slideshow video and remember I was telling you about posting in multiple languages well here I am back on my business page you notice over here on the bottom left hand corner it says settings if I was to click on settings it takes you to your general tab see how it says general right there this is your general tab and right here in the middle at the bottom it says post in multiple languages and that is how you can set that up for yourself I hope this video helps you create more videos for yourself on your Facebook business page because people love to get video in their newsfeed and Facebook and Google love to promote video for free as well. This is Heather and remember, keep it simple.